Hey, good morning. Uh, we're on his way to Little John Lakes in Nottingham today. Going with my fishing partner Luke, the bagger Armo. I'm in it. Um, we're on Maid Marion Lake. Um, there's only about five or six good pegs in the middle. I can't remember what they are. I think they're 11, 12, 13. They're all in the middle of the lake. They're split between two islands. I'll draw one anyway. Yeah, so Luke says I'll draw one, but oh, ain't. <laughs> um, but we'll just have to see where we get pegged. And yeah, that's bright. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to fish pellet feeder to island, if I get an island chuck. If not, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably set pole up. See how we go from there on. We're just coming up to the venue now. We just had a decent breakfast, haven't we, Luke? Luke's all full up for the day. Ready to go, mate. Ready to go. Um, so yeah, we'll see when we get there. I'm just going to do the draw now and uh, we'll see where we get pegged. So see you in a bit. Right, here we go guys, we're here at um, Little John Lakes, this is Maid Marin Lake where we are fishing today and um, these are the better pegs, the ones just between the island um, as you can see you know they produce the, the better weights and, and win most of the matches so we're going to see where we get drawn anyway so we're just going to draw his peg now so we've just drawn 23 and it's just off where the uh, better pegs are, I'm just off the island. Got an area here just to the left of me, um, but um, yeah, it's not not too bad draw. Right, we just got down to the peg. Uh, as you can see, I'm just off the island, got the area to the left, and I've set three feeder rods up, um, all with pellet feeders on different sizes, different lines, and, and everything like that. So let's see how we get on. Let's go and have a chat with Lee. Drawing well, Luke, today, aren't you? Shocking, again. Look at fish over there, mate. They're going to bag up all day. See it now. Bloody hell, what they got in sandwich box? Ain't got much snap in there, have they? Little bits, mate. Little bits. Right. Well, that's nice elastic, isn't it? Who told you to get that? No one. Oh, right. I just found it out myself and bought it. And then uh, somebody called Dave. Yeah. Said he wanted some, so I had to go and buy him some at all. Yeah. All right. He's not used it though, yeah. He's fished three or four times. He's not used it. I don't really fish Paul, to be honest.
or whatever. Right guys, uh, you can probably see that we're in different clothes and in a different car to what we were in and uh, it's not sunny at all. This is a couple of weeks later because at the end of the match I weighed in 173 pounds and I went over in the net limit. Bad lad. Uh, I had 83 pound in one net and I got the full net took off me. So I only ended up weighing 90 pounds, which, fair enough, I didn't read the rules, but um, on the rules it does say that it's a 60 pound net limit, but it doesn't say anything about getting your full net took off you, so I thought I was going to get 60 pound for that net. We didn't film it at the time in the car on the way home because uh, we were a bit... Uh, <laughs> We balls it up really, aren't we? We Not were a bit, bit mad, we're a nightmare. bit mad. So we went and cried at McDonald's and had a big tasty, didn't we? Yeah. So. Bit of morning went off, didn't it? On yeah, one. just a bit of morning. So we we cocked it up and we we uh, we should have been really taking home first and second, didn't we? Really, what did you weigh in? Well, in total, I think I ended up weighing what eighty three in total, eighty one, which got me fifth. But if and I had that eighty pound took off me, I would have had hundred and sixty three or hundred and sixty five. Yeah, so. We'd have both come first and second, wouldn't we, and, and took home some some money and would have been happy days. But it as it as it stands, we both got a net deduct, deducted off us. And I weighed in 90, you weighed in 81 or something, didn't you? I still won my section. and, and, and well, We won it the same <laughs> section, weren't we? That was a problem. <laughs> so we, we had a bit of a nightmare, but um, we we didn't really do the video at the time. That's because um, we were a bit cheesed off with sends and a bit bit uh, angry so we uh, decided not to do it so we just thought we'd catch up and but what are your feelings on it now then Luke now that we've had time to catch you know a week later and read, read rules or and or I like asked first because we just well I just said a mare didn't we no I just I just thought it was 60 pa no 70 pan yeah change your, each net you can just keep topping each net up like because last year it was you could do all that couldn't you, you yeah could, it would change weren't it last yeah. year you you were all right but this year we but you, you just know, need to read rules every time you go fishing that's what you need to be doing yeah because you've only solved to blame it ended it haven't you yeah and, and what i should have done is if i had read the rules i should have clicked and made sure i had you know near enough 60 pound in each net and just rotated them but well i always click me don't i know or every every other place i've been i've clicked yeah and this is the only place i ain't clicked and it's cost me i think I, main problem was i know i saw you catching you saw me catching, yeah, and I didn't want to get off my box because I saw you have a few Yeah, yeah I, I didn't want to get off my box either. I, I were, I were convinced you were in front of me, and I thought if I get off my box and he catches three or four fish, then he's going to be in front. But when I when I actually thought about it in my hand, if I'd have got off my box and got a net, it were only thirty seconds, weren't it? Thirty. I'd only lost 30 seconds, and what's that in fishing? Maybe one fish. They were behind. They were literally behind us, and all. They were they? behind us, so it it kicked me sen eyes that I should have just got up and got another net because. But I didn't realise I had 170 pound. I thought I'd only had 120 pound or something. Well, like we we both had a probably hour and a half, didn't we? We had a fish each, or you know, two fish yeah. in an hour and a half. Yeah, it was quite. That, wasn't it? That's why I thought that, that I thought he had 140 me at most, at very most in mine. It just shows you've done it like you just some, you've just got to. I think the problem problem is with you. You use their nets. We're all used to using them little scoop nets, aren't yeah, we? And, yeah, that, yeah. and like if you get a if you get a probably an eight pounder in there, they might look ten or twelve. So then you think you're closer to the limit than what you are. Yeah, yeah. But there, right. they're them they're them really big nets, aren't they? And it makes like a ten pound. They look probably like a six in net. Yeah, and you don't realise what weight you got, do you? I think yeah. that's what it is. But no excuses. Next time, read the rules, and we're coming back, aren't we, Luke? We're going to absolutely smash it next time. I, I don't step foot in Nottingham now, so what, I thought, what's gone down? It gets emotional every time I go past. <laughs> You'll be crying next time, going up to the lake. No. I'll never draw a peg like it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we didn't have the greatest... Well, we were off the island, weren't yeah. we, in the best pegs as well. So I know we had an island chuck, but the flyers are a couple of pegs up, aren't they? 
um, no, I, and across. So I thought we were gonna get a towel in me from them on yeah. them in, in us. Do you know, like middle of them islands. There's like six pegs in there. Yeah. Six or eight pegs that you can win it. Well, that normally do really good weights on Maid Marion, but we um. We did all right. Well, I said we did all right. <laughs> well, we, yeah, yeah. We, we did all right if you're pleasuring. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no. Um, so it just shows you, just um, next time, read the rules. Anywhere that you go in, have a look at the rules. Um, even though that you fished it before and you probably already knew, know the rules, just just have a look because they change, don't they, and, and the updates, and, and that's where we've gone wrong. We've not read the rules. We didn't click. Well, I didn't click anyway, and I should have got up and got another net, and that's what it were. And, and like you said, I didn't want to get off my box because I thought you were catching, and um, that's what it is. But well, that the, the rules are rules, aren't they? And at the end, like that, like Steve's, a, like Steve's a, a good wise bloke, man isn't says, it? yeah, like a wise one once said to us, yeah. And that Steve's an R8 bloke, and he all runs it sound. Yeah, he's sound, isn't it? And even though we went off at net limit, I know he took it off us and what have you, but he just said, look, he'll be an R8 about it, won't he? Yeah. So you know, we've got no no qualms at that and we'll, we'll be definitely back because it's cracking venue yeah great great venue so we've only got ourselves to blame don't we and you know we're 100 100 and it'll not be happening lighter. next time i'll be four nets me and there'll be 20 pound in each net <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so um thanks very much for watching anyway i hope you enjoy the video and uh, if you're not subscribed get subscribed up to the channel there's a lot of videos coming on at the moment and uh, we'll see you soon ta <laughs> Oh, <laughs>